Hello, so you've recently bought the Scarlett 2i4 interface and you want to start making music. Instead of contacting the support team just yet, we need to make sure you followed all the correct setup steps. I'm going to take you through setting up this audio device with the software that's included inside the box. I'll also get you to a position where you can record music with an instrument or a microphone and go through everything that you need to know. First, let's have a look at what's inside the 2i4 box. Inside the box, you get the interface, which is the 2i4 itself, and you get a USB cable. You also get a packet of cards. Now, you need to register your product first before you can download the software that you're entitled to inside the box. So I'm going to take you through that step now. Now as per the card's instructions, we need to register the unit by visiting the Focusrite website. So let's do that now. So in this software pack, as per the card, we need to go to focusrite.com forward slash register. So I'm using a PC here and my internet browser it happens to be Chrome, but you might have Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. So what I'm gonna do is open up my Explorer, so my browser, and I'm gonna enter www.focusrite.com forward slash register, as per the card. Now the first page of two pages appears here register your product. Why do you need to register your product? Because you receive the free software and activation codes. You get the latest drivers so that your audio recording device works properly with your computer and you receive more information. So if we click on choose product and then locate the Scarlett 2i4, let's scroll down and select that. Now you need to enter your email address. So. And once you've done that, click on in which country do you live, select the country you live in, and click on get my stuff. If you need more time to put in this information, hit pause on the video now. After clicking on get my stuff, you'll notice a second page where you need to put your personal details in. So I'm gonna do that now. Now enter a password, a memorable password that you need to type in twice, once, once to type it in second to um, confirm this password. Um, and now you need to enter the bundle code. So once you click on this, you'll receive a handy little icon here, a diagram showing you where the code is. But on this card here, it's this code here. So I'm going to enter that now. So once you've put the correct code in, you need to put the date of purchase. And the store that you purchased the 2i4 from. Take caps off. Once all this information's put in correctly, click on get my stuff. Again, if you need more time to fill this out, click on pause on the video now. After clicking on Get My Stuff, your account information will appear on this page here. So we've got my name, address, email address, and email verification. Now it says no here. So what we need to do now is click on a link via an email that Focusrite have sent you so that you can verify your email and get all of your codes. 
So I'm going to start up another tab here in the web browsers and go to my email. It's gmail.com to log out of my old email account and log in with the relevant email account here. Click on sign in. And here's the email that Focusrite have sent you. So click on this email. Hi there, you or someone pretending to be you recently tried to register on Focusrite.com. In order to confirm your email address and complete your registration, please click on the following link. So let's click on that. And now we're taken back to my account automatically and the email is verified here. You'll notice that the Scarlet 2i4 is registered. You've got Ableton Live Lite here with your authorization code. Now this is your recording, your audio recording software. And you've got a download link here. Same with the Novation Base Station activation code and download link. Scarlet Plugin Suite download link. And free Loop Masters content. The Loop Masters content is additional bits of audio that you can add to your song to enhance it. For example, there are loads of drum beats and drum loops um, or synth noises and effects that might make your song sound a little bit more full. But we'll get onto that a bit later on. So now I'm going to click on the link below here. I'm going to click on this because I, what we need to do is install the drivers for the 2i4. So ignore this for now, we'll go back onto this soon. Download all manuals and software. You get taken directly to the downloads page with the Scarlett 2i4 here. Now because I'm using a PC, I want to install the .exe file here. And you'll notice that the plugin suite is here as well, but we've got that download link in the account previously. So all we need to do is just click on the .exe link here. So this will pop up automatically. Do you want to run this file? Yes, but if it doesn't pop up, what you need to do is click on the start icon, go to computer, and then go to your downloads folder. And the installer will be in your downloads folder. So you need to locate it and double click it. But this has appeared automatically here. So I'm going to click on run. Click next to continue installing. And it will offer to put the driver in its default location. Now it's, it's a good idea to leave this in this location to avoid any confusion. But if you want to put it into a specific location for some reason, then click on browse and you can select a, diff a different location. So click on next. It's going to create a shortcut for you. That's fine. Next. And click on install. The installation wizard will uh, appear. Click on next. Once it's done, click on finish. You've now installed the Focusrite USB 2.0 driver, which is necessary for the Focusrite 2i4 to work with your computer. So let's go back to my account. And now we need to install the Scarlet Plugin Suite. The Scarlet Plugin Suite is a collection of plugins or software effects that enhance your song or your audio or MIDI that you might have recorded in Ableton Live Lite, the recording software. So let's install that next. Click on download. It'll take you back to this page. And you want to install this, the latest plugin suite here. Again, we're on PC, so we need to click on the .exe file. A similar process will occur. It'll appear automatically. But again, if it doesn't, you go to computer and your downloads folder. So click on Run and click on Next. Accept the agreement and click on Next. The default location's here, that's fine. Click on Next. These are the different types of plugins that you want to install. Um, leave them as they are. If you, if you want to use Pro Tools, click on the Artas plugin suite version there. Now click on Next and Install. 
click on finish and you've, in, you've installed the Scarlet Plugin Suite 1.4. I'll get into using these a bit later on so you can see exactly what they do. So now we need to go back to our account page at the top here. Okay, so the next step is to install Ableton Live Lite, the uh, audio recording software. Um, so what we need to do is, um, you can either right click on the download link here and open a new tab so you can always go back to your account at any time. So at the top left here, I'm gonna click on the Live Lite Ableton website tab there. And you've got the PC and Mac installers here. So we obviously want the PC installer which will appear bottom left here. Or if you go into your start menu um, in the computer tab here, it'll appear in your downloads folder here. Feel free to pause the video just in case the, uh, the download of the installer is taking a bit longer than it has done here. Once it's uh, downloaded, click on it. And this is a package of information that you need to unzip. And software you need to get for that is WinRAR for PC, or I'm sure there are other alternatives, but I just uh, Googled WinRAR and then got a free download and evaluation copy here. So what you need to do is click on the setup.msi file and it'll unpack that file for you. Again, feel free to pause it. if it takes a bit longer. Once this is unpacked, the installer for Live Lite 8 will start running automatically. So click on Next. Let's close that. I accept the terms in the licensing agreement. Next. The default location. Next. And I've got a start menu that already exists under this name here. So I might just put Live Light 8 New and click on Next. And click on Install. And Ableton Live 8 will install then. Pause video if it's taking a bit longer. So we're nearly done with the installation here.
So the installer's now finishing up. What will happen after this installer finishes is Live 8 will open automatically. And what we need to do then is authorize the software. So it's completed the setup wizard here. So we click on finish. And this checkbox here will load Ableton Live Lite 8 for you automatically. So we'll click on finish and that'll load. I'll minimize these windows so you can see it. What we need to do now is go to So the splash screen is loading here. Audio is disabled. Please choose an audio output device in the audio preferences. Now this is expected because we haven't connected the Focusrite 2i4 yet. So just click on OK. So upon loading Ableton Live, uh, you'll see authorize with ableton.com here. Now we want to click on this and authorize the software. So if you've already got an account, then that's great, but I don't have an account. I'm a new customer, so I'm going to put my email address in here. And once I've put all my personal details in, I select the country and I can tick this whether I'd like to receive the Ableton newsletter or not. Um, feel free to pause the video so it gives you enough time to fill in all your details accurately. When you're done, click on create account. So now we need to enter our serial number. So we need to go into my account and we need to enter this code here. So one by one, you can highlight the first part, copy it and paste it into the first field and the next bit. Unfortunately, you can't post, uh, copy and paste the whole code at once. So you have to paste it bit by bit. takes a while, but it's just one of these things that has to be done. And once this is done, you'll be able to use Ableton Live Lite 8 with the Scarlet 2i4. So once you're all copied and pasted in, you can click on Register Serial. Again, pause the video if you need a bit more time. Just asking to launch an application. Click on launch application and Live will authorize your software. This might take some time, so again, feel free to pause the video. And now it says it's worked, Ableton Live is installed and authorized. So you can go back into Ableton Live, click on OK. Once we've installed the audio recording software Ableton Live Lite, we need to install the software synthesizer Novation Base Station. So right click on the download link, open link in new tab, and we'll be taken to the download page for the Novation Base Station. 
So obviously, again, as we're on Windows, we're on a Mac here, we want to install the .exe file. So we click on that and the install will appear bottom left and the installer will run. Click on run and follow the installation process. I accept the agreement, next. All the different types of plugins that you're installing are here. Click on next. The default location again, click on next. A folder in which the setup should install the 64-bit VST file, click on next and install. Once installed, click on finish. So now we've installed all the software that you need to install with a 2i4 and we may as well go ahead and download the free Loop Masters content as well. So you know that you've always got these samples here if you want to extract them for later, just to add extra parts to your song. So now we've installed Ableton Live Lite and authorized it so that we can start using it with the 2i4. And we need to authorize the plugins that we've also installed. So that's a base station synthesizer, that's an instrument, and the Scarlet plugin suite, the collection of effects plugins. So what we need to do on the main screen of Ableton here is we need to click on the plug symbol. And it says, if you would like to use plugins, click the activate button. Uh, so if we click on activate and this preferences window opens and more specifically, we're in the file folder preferences, just in case you click out by accident, we're in the file folder preferences. And we're looking at this section here, plugin sources. Now, we need to make sure that the VST plugin custom folder is set to the location that we installed the plugins in the first place, and that's C, Program Files, VST Plugins. And I think if you remember, I said you can browse when you're installing your plugins so that you can install them in various different locations on your hard drive. But so if you, if you have installed them in a different location, you now need to set this to find that location by clicking on Browse. But we've installed them in this location here. So what we need to do is click on Use VST Plugin Custom Folder. So this might take some time to scan your plugins. So if you want to pause the video, feel free to pause the video now so you can catch up. I'm going to click on it now. Now what you'll see is the button is now on and lit. And in this left panel of plugin devices, you'll see a folder that says Focusrite. And if we open that, those are all of our Scarlet plugins here. And you'll see the base station, mono and base station stereo. So what we're going to do is firstly activate the Scarlet plugins. So I'm going to close the preferences window now. I'm going to click and drag Scarlet compressor or any other Scarlet plugin onto one of these channels or into the space. So here with the plugin screen, you'll see there's demo mode where you can run it for a limited period of time, um, but it will, you'll experience five seconds of silence on whatever you put it on every 15 to 45 seconds. It's just so you can hear it. Or in the middle here, you can buy a license for it. But we've already bought a license because it's come free with the Scarlet 2i4. So what we want to do is click on activate. So here, we fill in our details. Email address, if I can spell. Then we need to select our operating system. So Windows 7 and country, United Kingdom. Now in this section here, the activation code, we need to go back to our account in the Focusrite website. So go to focusrite.com and sign in and you'll be met with 
the My Account page here. So on the right hand side with our registered products, you can now see the Scarlet, plug the Scarlet plugin suite here, activation code here. So if we highlight this, right click and copy, and now go back to the Focusrite eStore, Scarlet plugin software activation page, and then right click in this space here and paste. That's our activation code. Now click on Submit. You see the software activation is successful and a license will appear bottom left of the screen here. If nothing happens here, you need to click on the Start menu, go to Computer, and again, you'll find that license file in the Downloads folder. So there it is, right at the top there. It's a .fnlf file. So we need to remember where that is. Because when we go back into Ableton, we need to install the license. So click on Install License, and then go to your Downloads folder. And right at the top there, that's our license there. Double click on that, and you'll see that the plugin is unlocked. Even if we drag in a different plugin, that will be unlocked as well. So we've authorized the Scarlet plugin suite now. Now we need to do the same for the base station. So click and drag the base station onto a space. And again, we're met with this demo mode, buy or activate on the plugin screen. So click on activate. Yet we need to fill out our details again. It is important to do this. So if, if anything ever does go wrong, you've always registered everything that you've purchased and you can speak to our online team or our support team and they can help you out. Again, selecting the operating system and a country. Ignore this code, that's, that's auto-completed for some reason. Um, but again, we go back to our accounts page and we'll see the Novation base station here and the activation code. We highlight that, right-click, copy. Go back to the base station software activation page, click on the activation code field, right click and paste. Now submit and the plugin software activation is successful. The license appears here. Again, it appears in start, computer and downloads folder right at the top there. So we'll close that. We'll close these windows and we'll click on install license. Now we select from the downloads folder the B station license here. And the base station is authorized. So that's all your software, your audio recording software, Ableton Live Lite, and your free plugins all authorized and installed. So now we can start connecting the 2i4 and making some music. I'm going to go through the connection process with you now. Now we need to connect the 2i4 to your computer, either PC or Mac. Using the USB cable that comes in the box, connect this to the 2i4 and connect the other ends to the dedicated USB port of your computer. Now we need to connect the speakers to our 2i4. We've got two unbalanced phono outputs or we've got one pair of balanced jack outputs. If you want to plug in balanced jack outputs into your speakers, simply take one jack lead and plug it into one for speaker left and the other jack lead into two for speaker right. You can plug in your phono unbalanced outputs here. Now, ensuring that your speakers are switched off, plug in the other ends of these cables into speaker left and speaker right. If you want to connect headphones, the headphone port is right on the front there and you've got a dedicated volume knob here. Now we need to configure the 2i4 in whichever software you're using. Now that we've connected the Scarlet 2i2 to the PC, we need to make sure it's connected in live as a main input and output device. So we need to go to the options menu, 
select Preferences, and in Audio, make sure the audio device is set to Focusrite USB 2 audio driver. Now close this window, and the 2i2 is now set as a main sound card in Live. Now it's time to start connecting instruments and microphones to the 2i4. I'm going to connect a guitar via jack lead to input 1 and a microphone via XLR cable to input 2. The microphone I'm using is a Scarlett Studio condenser microphone 25. Now certain microphones require power whilst other microphones don't. Check with your manufacturer as to whether your microphone requires a power source or not. On the 2i4 interface, both channels have something called 48V. This is phantom power, and it transmits a power source via the XLR cable to your microphone, so you have a constant flow of power. After plugging in my guitar to input 1, I'm going to set the switch to inst for instrument. Then I'm going to plug the microphone with the XLR cable into input 2, and I'm going to leave the switch set at line. Then I'm going to press 48V or Phantom Power. Whilst the artist is playing guitar and singing, adjust the input gain so that you avoid any red signal. A healthy signal is a constant green signal. So now I'm going to create two audio channels in live. The first audio channel I want to record what's coming in from the first input of the Scarlett interface. The second channel I want to record what's coming into the second input of the Scarlett interface. So I'm going to click on the MIDI channel and remove this. I'm going to create another audio track in the Create option and Insert Audio Track. So I've got two different channels. The first one needs to be configured as input 1 and the second one needs to be configured as input 2. So I'm going to click on the first one and then I'm going to click on the I.O. button here. This is the input and output preferences of each channel. So here where it says 1 forward slash 2 I'm going to set this to input 1, and here I'm going to set this to input 2. Now, everything that's coming in on input 1 of the Focusrite Scarlett interface is being recorded on this channel, and everything coming into the second input of the Scarlett interface is coming into this channel. But what I need to do is firstly record arm this channel. So if I only wanted to record the first input, I'd record arm this, hit record and play, and then I could record that part. If I wanted to record the second input only, I'd switch this off, and I'd record arm the second channel, and everything that came in from the second input of the Scarlett interface would be recorded. If I was playing guitar and singing vocals at the same time, i.e. a live performance, I'd want to record arm both channels. To do this, hold control and click on the record arm channel. Then, when you, record, when you press record and play, you'll be recording both channels at the same time. So hit record and hit play, and you can start recording. You free your mind For questions only you can find And close your life So Joe has recorded the guitar and vocal part into Ableton Live and um, if we go to the linear view we can see both the parts here. So that's the guitar part and the vocal part. And previously I mentioned adding effects to uh, the track to enhance the audio or the instruments that you might have. So what I'm going to do is add a compressor by clicking on it, the Scarlett compressor, and dragging it onto the vocal. Now a compressor typically um, increases the volume of quiet pieces of audio and decreases the volume of audio that's too loud depending on a certain threshold that you can set. Um, that's a very simple explanation but um, here you can get to know the threshold ratio attack release and how that affects the audio but what I'm going to do is use one of the factory presets by clicking on this here and I'm going to add medium squeeze which is just a, a medium compression. I'm going to close that window and I'm going to add reverb to the vocal as well, just to give it a bit of space. Uh, this is the size of the room, 
and this is the mix. So it's either wet or dry. So I'm going to add just around about 65% there. And, um, and then on the guitar, again, I'm going to add a compressor um, and select a medium squeeze there as well. Now, obviously, this is very quick and very rough, but you can experiment with effects and um, listen to how they change the audio. Um, so just uh, spend a bit of time getting to know your plugins and getting to know how they affect different instruments, whether it's a, a voice or a guitar or a piano. So that's very quickly how you can add the effects to the audio that you've recorded in Ableton Live. So by now you should be making your own music. If you have any further problems, please contact our support team. Thanks. Free your mind For questions only you can find